Day number two of harvest. Boy, Pete, what are you doing? Here, you need a kid to show you how to do it? Yeah. I ain't strong enough. Last night we got the white semi full. And 200 bushels on the red semi before we had gearbox issues on the combine. So dad and Cooper are down working on the combine this morning. Gonna see if they can get that gearbox off, get that fixed. In the meantime, I had a little accident yesterday. So I'm gonna grab the GCB, get that cleaned up before the rain comes in. Then we have a rotten pile of beans out there. Then I'm gonna come back. I have to work on the YouTube video, get that done. And then hopefully by that time, dad and Cooper are done with the combine. And then we can go combine some more soybeans. I have to make two trips. Ugh. Anna! Hey girl! <laughs> Hi! Good morning! Good morning! We're gonna try to take this gearbox off really quick, me and Cole. It's making a clinking noise, I think. I just, we don't know. This is the gearbox that's in question, and we have four bolts on the back side that we got off. And we think there's a spline on the inside that it's sitting on, but we can't figure out how to get that off. We've been trying to take pry bars and wedge it on the back side to push it this way. It doesn't seem to be working, so we're kind of scratching our head. working on this for probably a solid hour now. I mean, it's just four bolts and sliding right off a shaft. How hard can it be, Dad? Miserable. What we think's going on is there's a shaft just like this on the back side of this gearbox, and we think there's something causing some binding effect going on there, because this should just slide right off of it. Try using the air gun. Cole and I have been working on that about two hours this morning. If we would have realized the shaft was sliding on the other side of the combine, we must have got things loosened and when Cooper got there, choo! But at least we're gaining. Now I'm filling this gearbox back up. We are hoping this was what was making all the noise. If not, it was a very, very expensive breakdown. That wasn't the problem, but let's hope it's the problem. Cooper's gonna try the machine. Hopefully it doesn't make a bunch of noise now. I think we got everything working on that gearbox. It sounds quiet now. One of these rainy days, we're gonna take the other one and tear it apart see if we can see some teeth broken or something. But right now, Cooper's been trying to get the reverser to work. And if we can't get it to work, Ryan, our mechanic, will come down and see if he can figure out, and he would, figure out why it isn't working. All right, Westfield, are you ready to go to work? Hey, what's this in? Oh, man, I gotta dump some beans there yet. Forgot about them. Nice boat, we'll see how we are. Am I too far? Am I close enough? Maybe. I think I'm good enough. Woohoo! Just got done with about five hours in the office. Dad and Cooper are over at Tabletop. I believe Ryan the Combine Mechanic is there helping them get some stuff set. There's a couple things on the Combine we couldn't figure out how to get working or they weren't working, so Ryan was gonna take a look at those. Oh, hey, looks like our AGI SureTrack stuff was delivered. That's our grain monitoring system we're gonna be putting in the bins. I'll explain more of it when we get them in because there's a lot of really cool stuff there. I think everything's empty, the parts in Brent, how you doing? Um, hey Ryan. Hi, how are you? Good. Getting her to work? No. 
<laughs> it's weird. It's too green. Yeah, yeah, that's really a lot of beans. I don't, it just started like where I stopped there. That's when I got really bad. Is it, that's when your tailings thing went off? Well, my sieve started getting really hot. What's that? But yeah, that's like 10 yeah. bushel an acre right there. It makes it look worse too. I mean, it is throwing a lot out, but it's just dropping it right here. Good news and bad news. The bad news is we're pulling out a tabletop. It's just too green over here. Literally a handful of this weighs like if you took a water bottle and filled it a quarter way, that's that's what this is. So that stuff, that air blowing through, it's just not separating the beans from the trash, so it's blowing beans out with it because it's getting caught up in it as well. The good news is we finally figured out what's going on. Sorry, they don't make that buddy seat very big. What are you saying? Is your cap supposed to be open? I don't see why not. This is a little frustrating, but that's basically how the start of harvest always goes. You, you start for a little bit, find out stuff's not fit, you wait a few days, you come back, Stuff usually goes a lot smoother. It's just weird, because we're in beans that are under 10% moisture, <laughs> and everything's still green. I, I've never seen that in my life, so it's a completely new experience for me. All right, say your goodbyes, guys. 48 foot bean head trailer is going to a new home. So many memories with that. Ah, we just literally bought it from an auction, drove it home, and that's all we did. Doesn't fit our bean head though. This is what we call a harvest meeting. Meeting in the middle of the road. In case you've never been out in the country before, this is a pretty common thing. It always seems like it's in this spot, or this area. Yeah, hey bud, I guess. Done for the night. Tabletop's out of the question for today. It's just simply too green over there. But we're over here at Melvin's now, we're gonna do just a little bit of crop scouting. What I'm seeing so far, 50 yards into the field here, there is a lot less green on these, but there definitely still is some green. Our new bean head trailer has not came in yet, so we can't get to any of our further farms right now because a 45 foot head going down the highway is just too wide. So we got one field left close to home, campground here. Take a look, see what we got. These definitely look a lot browner. Geez, Dad, you can tell you planted this. Had a couple too many chocolate milks, didn't you? <laughs> Call me Lolo Jones. Campground looks better, but the beans are just a little bit damp yet. So while the dew's burning off, we're gonna get all the equipment out there into the field and hopefully by that time stuff will be ready to go. you're wondering yes we are doing the same method of blocking the road to get the combine to the field as we did the other day because our trailer's not here yet pull one of these take up two parking spots real quick and uh there we go you can get by me you deserve to go through takes up a little room when you're going down the gravel roads with a head on few moments while the boys are moving the semis out to the uh, field I thought maybe we could go ahead and try to get some more water lines ran into this little shack sounds like a few more days the guy is going to be coming in here doing sheetrock getting it mud getting it painted for us so we need to be ready for him If you're, here, if you're here, who's babysitting your boy? He's off on his own right now. Thank you. He said we ain't got no more truck drivers. Yeah. Ain't got very many more We got Cooper. He's not doing anything. Just walk around with a poodle like hair. Like you said earlier, Larry's got a CDL. He can drive. Truck driver ain't never gonna pump me out, dude. <laughs> never will a truck driver beat me. Another worthless. I could drive that. I ain't got a light, but I tell you, I can drive it. It's Patrick Mahomes better than Tom Brady. Anybody in the right mind, right? The <laughs> goat. Eros, elote, tortillas, carne asada, guacamole. We're still trying to figure out what's going on 
with the separation of stuff. We can't seem to get the settings right back here. Cooper's got everything opened up. As we can see, we have a super, super dirty sample right now. Oh, hey, we've been utilizing the auxiliary tank. We're just trying to figure out what's going on because we're only going like a mile and a half an hour and this is the biggest combine that Case makes. So we should have no problem going through this at all. This trash building up here under the front of the rotor, we're not really sure why. There's more trash in the tank than there is on the ground. Not to do that. No. One nice thing around here, we got some really good neighbors. If we need help on something, you can usually call one of them and they know something about it. Craig's got a combine similar to this, just smaller in size, so he kind of understands how it works. So he's going to help us troubleshoot it. Oh, he's going for it. I know what our problem is, Dad. What's that? should have bought a John Deere. Not supposed to be there. I guess the good news is this field's averaging 104.1 and 100% of that is soybeans. What's going on? Nothing's working. <laughs> the rotor's not Nothing. working, the fan. I found a quarter this morning on the heads up. The heads up, I thought it might be good luck. That's it, the fan hasn't worked for quite a while. What makes you think that? Is there an oil leak or something? That's what I'm wondering. Craig, our neighbor's over here helping us. He's got the 8 series, we got the 9 series. He hasn't had issues, so tonight when he's sleeping, I'm taking our stickers off our machine, putting them on his machine. We're taking Craig's machine. He just doesn't know it yet. Right? What? what? Right? What? Yeah, he raised. Yeah. Crap, come on. What are you doing? We went to your place and looked up. You have no one working there. <laughs> now that is a sight and sound I have not seen in several weeks. You're starting to get pretty dry, so this is good for the ground. Adding some moisture back to the soil, but it's not good for harvesting soybeans. It's actually not gonna work out too bad because Cooper just got a phone call from our machinery place to set our trailers in, so we're gonna go pick it up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Titan Machinery. 12,450 schmackaroos later, here she is. So this is an Underfirth AWS. 48 footer and what's unique about it is it's all wheel steer. When the front wheels turn one way, this pipe travels all the way to the back axle and it turns those the opposite way. Do, 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 do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lift up for a sec. Don't need to bend that. Okay. Follow me home in the light in your pickup. And then pick me up and we'll come back here and then we can take this home in your pickup. Okay. Ooh, I definitely should not have parked old Ford right there. <laughs> What are you doing romping around, huh? Huh? Oh, you're gonna lift me up. Woo, Anna. Woo, Anna. Hey, you're, you better be glad the police aren't here. They can't get me when I'm on my own property. What do you think, Anna? What do you think? Oh boy. It's not how many takes it looks to get to the center of a lollipop. It's how many stairs are on the leg. Take a good hard look over there, ladies and gentlemen because stuff is changing quick and it's never gonna look like this again. So, take it in. Well, that's farming for you. Some days you get a lot done. Other days, you don't get anything done for consecutive days, like yesterday and today. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.